Hello everybody, and welcome to Scooby-Doo, case file number one, the glowing bug man. Okay, so, you can't see that. So, this game, I was having the hardest time recording, and, um, I, ha I got it to work. I used to have this game personally, this copy, surprisingly, I actually had to check out from a library in order to get it to work, because uh, my disc was lost a long time ago somewhere in my game collection of discs. Um, but this is, this game can only run off of the disc. I've tried to do what I did with uh, the first Nancy Drew game and copy the files to the computer. Not gonna work, didn't work. This is actually um, on a virtual machine because I tried playing it on my computer and it just crashes every time. So, you're actually going to play on a virtual like machine. we're starving over here. How about telling us your name? We'll give you a Scooby snack. <gasps> Oops, <laughs> too late. Hopefully you can't hear anything. You might be able to hear my, uh... Um... D. O. O. M. Oh, sorry. You might end up being able to hear M my, uh, A computer. E S T R. Oh. And yes, that is uh, Casey Kasem. And you see this fear? Yep, that was some files. And now we begin. And as well to play this on a virtual machine, it's in a tiny little box. Partially due to the fact that um, the screen won't go bigger, and partially due to the fact that the game itself would run in this size anyway. Unfortunately. But it looks decent the way I recorded it, so. Spookier! Spooky! Spookier! Spooktacular! Spook! Spooktacular, for sure. Well, here we are, gang. The Jumbo Gumbo Festival? Rummy Gumbo. No, silly. We're at the Kazuma County Museum of Natural History. I hear they have a really groovy dinosaur exhibit. Dinosaurs? That's right, Scooby. In fact, they have a brand new T-Rex skeleton that was discovered right here in Kazula County. Closed due to Bugman. Bugman? I wonder what they mean. Like I think it means that we should get out of here. What did you find there, Scooby? I don't know. Like it looks like glowing green guacamole. Uh, yeah, no. Mm -mm. Yep, 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 yep. Mm -hmm. Good reactions, I agree. Mm -mm. Nope, I'm, yep, exactly. I'm guessing the bug man. I think we just met our bug man. Yep. Guessing this is the museum. Would make sense. Common sense. This place seems to be completely deserted. Wonder why. Dessert? That's a great idea. Scoob, let's go find ourselves some pastrami and chocolate sundaes. <laughs> and squid sickles and jelly beans and sardines and guys! Sandwiches and soda pop and chickpea chalupas and frankfurters and yeah, love me, you betcha. Uh -oh. <laughs> like you shouldn't sneak up on people <laughs> like that. 
What were you doing hiding behind that pillar? Oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't hiding. I was just trying to surprise the bug man. I'm Nigel Nightwatch, the head of museum security. Well, actually, come to think of it, I'm kind of the only museum security. And uh, who are you? Uh, I'm Fred, and this is Daphne, Velma, Shaggy, and Scooby-Doo. Nice to meet you. We haven't had visitors here for a real long time. This glowing bug monster guy has been scaring the wits out of me. Uh, I mean, the museum visitors. If this goes on much longer, the museum will close down for good. Monsters? Yeah, that's what I thought at first. Now, I'm starting to think that it's an inside job. You know, one of the museum staff. So, like, why don't you bug the place and find out? <laughs> <laughs> well, we solve mysteries. Is there anything we can do to help? I'd sure appreciate it. Someone's been going to a lot of trouble to mess up the museum's exhibits. I've been doing a little detective work myself, and I've put together files on the five main suspects. I keep them in the office. All of them work for the museum and might have their own reasons for messing things up. All the same, I can't seem to put all the pieces together. I've narrowed it down to the museum director, the cook, the maintenance supervisor, the information desk attendant, and the paleontology professor. You can look at the files in the office anytime you like. And if you need my help, you can use one of the museum's intercoms. Well, gang, it looks like we've got a mystery to solve. And the answer is somewhere in this museum. Okay, so... Insects. Uh, uh, no. Right, no way are we exploring this creepy place. We're uh, staying right here. I see. Yeah. Would you change your mind for a Scooby snack? A Scooby snack? Like, sure. Do you have one? Yes, we have three. So we can go in Let's here now. Let's check out the insect hall for some clues. Uh, sorry, I'm okay, not going to talk over a lot of the cutscenes, just because the there are no uh, yeah. subtitles. Bugs. Come on, you two. <laughs> I also believe that the cutscenes can change. Well, the cutscenes, the uh, culprit at the end can change. Calm down, you scaredy cats. It's just a display. Like this must be where all the bug man's buddies hang out. It's huh. the insect exhibit, Shaggy. Like this fascinating display of Hymenoptera over here. Like Hymena who's it? That's an order of insects, Shaggy. Then I'll have two orders of insects, please. Hold the mayo. Oh boy. Okay, there is a cassette tape there. Testing, testing. Elocution practice tape, take 37. The rain in huh? Spain falls mainly down the drain. No. no, let's try that again. The plane on the rain is mainly in my brain. No, one more time. <laughs> the rain is oh, all Let's my... keep investigating. Midnight we have to get to the bottom of this mystery. Mustn't stay in the museum all night, the bug man, you know. Huh? Okay. What's Let's this? Let's take a closer look. And you might hear my computer starting up. Like and the bug man stopping. was totally oh. messing with this exhibit. Check oh. out the green slime. If we get the ants back to the right place of the ant farm, maybe we'll learn something more about the bug man. We can open and close okay. gates to help get the ants back home. Let's give it a try, man. Okay. Okay, let's open up this gate. Okay, so this one's just doing this little bounce back and th there you go. Okay, 
Okay, we got most of them back. If they wander around enough, they'll reach their home on their own. There you go. So if we do that... you to go down. You went up. Awesome. Go away. Get out. You're going the wrong way, you stupid bug. Nope. There you go. Go home. Good. You gonna go? Dang it. So worry about this red one first. I'm more worried about the red one than I am the black one, to be honest. I just gotta wait for this one to decide to leave. Imperfect. Scooby Dooby Doo. Okay, awesome. We've done it. All the ants are back where they belong. Like, what was up with those ants? Yeah. The bug man's green slime must have really freaked them out. Ha! Huh. What chicken? Yeah, scaredy ants. Hey, look! The zoinks! What is it? The bug man! Right? No, you sillies. It's a clue. I think this needs to come back to the office with us. Let's go, guys. Groovy! We found a clue! We're one step closer to solving this mystery. Let's organize each clue we collect. Mm. If a clue matches a suspect, we can mark it under his or her picture to help okay. us remember. Great well. idea, Velma! If we're not sure who the clue fits, we can look in the files. Like, look at this shirt, Scoob! New Zim staff? Yeah, you totally have to work here to get one of these, right, pal? Okay, so let's uh -huh. see. That's Dave Hammer, the maintenance supervisor. That's Ralph Rosen, the information desk attendant. That's Billy Seasons, the cook. That's Sandy Chin, PhD, the paleontologist. That's Dr. Celia Crownworthy, the museum director. Like, look at this shirt, Scoob! I imagine all of them would yeah, have a totally museum have staff to shirt. To get one we should really check those files to find out who. We'll need all five clues to get to the bottom of this mystery. Oh, okay, that's then like we the end. better keep looking. 
I'm guess that would be now all that of them. Now we know more about the suspects, we'll just have that, it's you know? time to find some clues. And I guess we'll have to find some clues. What the heck is this? I save? No, I guess I just like, press are you this. Sure you quit? You sure? And press this. And I'll go back here. Um, I won't start here in the next episode, but for now I will. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, sorry, very little commentary in this episode. And yes, it's about 15 minutes. Um, I'm going to try to do that because this is going to be a short series anyway. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this is the one that I played when I was very young. I remember playing it. I just wish that I still had my actual physical disc copy. Uh, because you can't play this game without a disc, so down the line I may not be able to play it if I don't have a disc copy. Because you can download, well you can, you shouldn't, but you can download it off the internet of course since it's an old game, but even then I think the files they just copy and paste it from um, this and you really can't really even do it because it's looking for a particular disc. Which is really, really odd. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.